Good morning. So it is Tuesday morning and we are on lesson seven of unit two today. We are going to go ahead and get started quickly. All right, so here we go. So we're on unit two, lesson six, seven. Our learning targets for today are, I can read words with different spellings for the owl sound and I can draft a writing piece. So today I want you to remember that vowel sounds are parts of the word that are emphasized when we sing, okay? So we're gonna review the vowel sounds. Our first vowel is the letter A, and we hear it in astronaut and actor and in acorn. Our next vowel is letter E, and we hear it in elf and eraser. <laughs> and here, Miss Witt, how are you today? <laughs> Our next vowel is the letter I, and we hear the letter I in the word iguana and igloo <laughs> and ice. And we have the letter O, the vowel O in the word ox and octopus and ostrich. And our last vowel is the letter U and we hear it in the word up, umbrella and unicorn. So we are gonna learn a sound today that is spelt with the O-U sound. It's ow, like in house and found and sound. So can you guys think of any other words that have the ow sound in it? Okay, we can, come, we can use the word now and how and cloud and proud. Those all have the owl sound, but they don't all have O-U. Some of those have O-W. So I can't write on this screen. So in first grade, you learned a spelling for the sound owl, and it was O-U, like in shout. So this is a vowel sound. So we're gonna trace it in green on our individual code flip chart. So we'll do that in just a second. And I want you to look at the power bar. Okay, so it is not really, really big, which means that there are other ways to spell the sound ow. And the other way to spell the sound ow is with O-W. O-W also says ow, like in the word now, okay? So we're gonna read some words with the spelling ow, with O-U and O-W. So we have the word downtown, growling, howling, frowning, flowers, showers, so those are all words that have the ow sound, either with an O-W, and then we have other words that have O-U, like in the word shout. Let's go to our individual code flip chart. It's gonna take me a second to find it. Hold on one second, let me find it, okay. I'm gonna pause the video while I find it and then I will turn it back on. Okay, I'm back. And I had to switch rooms because the Coke man came and I had to get out of that room because it was gonna be loud. So I found what I was looking for. So let me share it with you. Okay, so we are talking about the ow sound and the word shout with O-U spelling and and now with the O-W spelling. And because they are vowel sounds, we're gonna highlight them in green, not red. Highlight green. 
And remember, look at the difference in the power bar between the OU spelling and the OW spelling. Which one is bigger? Which one is more common in the way that we spell the OW sound? Definitely the OU is more common. The power bar is much bigger than in the OW spelling. Okay. So we have talked about the OW sound spelled with OU and with an OW. And we went over several new words with the OW spelling for OW. So the rest of today's lesson is going to be writing. If you notice in the Google Classroom, I've already uploaded a copy of the um, story elements chart where we identified the characters and the setting and the beginning, middle, and end. And we are going to use that today to um, do our draft of our writing. But before we start, let's do our wiggle cards. So go ahead and stand up and start wiggling. Today, I want you to howl, howl at the moon, howl like a wolf. All right, now scowl, and in case you don't know what that means, it's like this facial expression where somebody looks angry and they're like making a mean face. They're upset with you, they're scowling. Now, bow down like you're bowing to the queen. and growl and frown. What did all of our wiggle cards today have in common? They all had actions that had the ow sound in them. Very good, okay. So we are writing a fictional narrative with our story, The Milk. So we're gonna continue working on our writing project today. When we write, we go through different steps. And remember, those steps are called the writing process. So yesterday, we talked about the first step in the process, which was the planning. And we did that yesterday when we filled out our um, story elements chart. And today is the second part of the writing process, which is the draft. We're going to write our rough draft of our story, The Milk. Okay, the third step is editing, and the last step is publishing. So planning, we're gonna review our planning page from the last lesson. Yesterday we said the characters were Jane and that Jane had big dreams and big plans. The setting was a long time ago and it was outside near a farm or a road. And in the beginning, Jane put milk in a bucket to sell. In the middle of the story, Jane makes a lot of plans to use the cash from selling the milk. And in the end of the story, Jane spilled the milk and she's not gonna get any of the cash or the money. And so the moral of the story that we learned was, don't spend your money before you get it. So here is the worksheet that I have put up on the Google Classroom for you and you are going to need to fill this out on your own so that you have it to use. Okay, so here we have the characters and the setting and here's the information that we just talked about with the beginning, the middle and the end and you are gonna need this to help you do your writing activity. Okay, so what we are going to do is today we're going to draft. We're gonna use the planning page to help us create a draft. We're gonna write a draft in paragraph format. That means that all of our sentences are together. They don't start on a separate line, okay? So you put one sentence right after the other until the end of the paragraph. So we're gonna need a starting sentence or as in wit and wisdom, we call this our topic statement, okay? And it's going to introduce the character and the setting and it's gonna explain where the story takes place. So let's go back. Who was our character and where was the story taking place? So 
So we know that Jane was our, our main character and it happened a long time ago and it was outside near a farm. So how can we say that so that it sounds good? So before we start writing, let's go to your phonics journal. Everybody get out your phonics journal. We're gonna go to page 31 so that we can write our information down in our journal. All right, so today's date is the 27th. So if we're writing a topic statement, I need to include Jane and I need to include that it was a long time ago. I know I've heard stories start off before where they say a long time ago. So maybe we should do that. So I'm gonna start that way. So a long time ago. And then I need to add my character. Jane was. Well, what was she doing? I don't want to just say she was outside by a farm because what was she doing? She was walking, wasn't she? So maybe we could add that instead. So we could say a long time ago, Jane was walking outside her farm. Okay. So here's what we got so far. There we go. A long time ago, Jane was walking outside her farm. Okay, so now I have a character and I have two parts of the setting. So what was she doing outside of her farm? According to our chart, she was putting milk in her bucket so that she could take it to go sell it. So how can we say that? A long time ago, Jane was walking outside her farm. She was putting milk in her bucket. But why was she doing that? What was she going to do with the milk in it? We need to include that also. So she was putting milk in her bucket. We can say she planned, because remember we talked about how she had big plans. She planned to sell the milk. I have. A long time ago, Jane was walking outside her farm. She was putting milk in her bucket. She planned to sell the milk. All right. Now, the next part of the story is where she's making lots of plans to money from selling the milk. And then the ending is she doesn't get to spill. Ooh, I typed that wrong. She spills the milk. I said spin. Oops. I need to fix that right now, don't I? She spills the milk and doesn't get cash. So what I would like for you to do today as your work for the class today is I want you to finish the paragraph. You need to write a sentence about the middle of the story and write a sentence about the end of the story. So you're gonna take what we wrote just now and you're going to add to it. And remember, if you need to pause the video so you can write the down, go ahead and do that. And hit play when you're ready. And so you're going to use the chart that we did together. And you're going to write a sentence about the middle of the story and about the end of the story. And remember, guys, where I said that your sentences are together. Do you see how when my sentence ended, like right here, my sentence ended with the word farm. I didn't go to the next line. I still had room on the page, so I wrote another word. 
So your sentences go together. You don't have to separate them by one line at a time, okay? That's what a paragraph means. The sentences are all together and they all talk about the same topic. So you're gonna write one sentence about the middle of the story and one sentence about the end of the story. And then tomorrow we will work on the conclusion, okay? All right, so that is pretty much the end of the list. Let me go to, all right, so our learning targets for today were that we could read words with different spellings for the ow sound. And we talked about spellings with O-U and O-W to say ow, and that we could draft a writing piece. And you, we did part of that together and you were gonna finish that on your own today so that we can go over it tomorrow. All right, so that's all that we've got for today. Hope you have a great morning and a great afternoon and I'll see you later.